Hello friends, welcome to Richly's Kitchen. Today we are going to make vegetable kurma. For that we need to add some oil to the pan and once the pan is heated we need to add some fennel seeds and a green chili. You can increase it based on your spice level and just stir for a few seconds. Now add cloves, cardamom and cinnamon. And then add onion about one medium size and saute this until the onions becomes translucent now once it becomes translucent add a ginger garlic paste about half a teaspoon and saute this until the raw smell is completely gone it may take about um, five minutes Once it is done, add the masalas, so let's add red chilli powder, about 1 teaspoon, turmeric powder, quarter teaspoon, coriander powder, 1 teaspoon, and saute this for 2 minutes. The raw smell has to completely leave. So it may take about two to three minutes. So once this is done, add tomatoes to medium size. If you are using a big one, you can add one tomato. And cook this until it becomes soft and mushy. Now it's done. So at this stage, let's add the vegetables. Today I'm adding cauliflower florets, about quarter cup, and carrots, and also I'm using beans. You can also add potatoes and green peas if you have. And then once the vegetables are added, mix it well for about two to three minutes. Add some salt for the vegetables to cook. And now let's add about two cups of water or more if you want and cover and cook vegetables until it is done meanwhile let's make a paste let's coconut paste for that to a blender jar let's add coconut cashews fennel seeds and roasted chana dal and make it to a fine paste and once the vegetables are 90 percent cooked add this coconut paste you can add some water also and mix it well add some salt if required now add some chopped coriander or cilantro leaves and cover and cook until it is done Now the delicious vegetable kurma is ready to be served. You can have this with uh, chapati, idli, dosa and also rice. Enjoy cooking this recipe. Thank you for watching.